friends, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna do my makeup completely out of my comfort zone. Essentially the opposite of how I normally do my makeup is how I'm gonna do my makeup today. If that makes any sort of sense. I feel like I did not explain that very well. I'm not going to lie. I'm a little nervous for this video. I love full coverage. I tend to stick to nothing but really powder products. I love to just honestly kind of sort of cake my makeup on and just cover up all of these imperfections. And we're not doing that today. Good thing I don't have plans later. I'm staying at home all day, probably watching the Olympics with my husband and my cat. But yeah, that's what we're gonna do today. A couple of you guys have requested this video from me in the past, and we're gonna try out some new techniques, some new products, and I'm excited, but I'm nervous. Before we get started, don't forget to upload every Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday for you guys. If you like this video while you're watching it, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. It really does help my channel out. And other than that, if you're excited and you wanna see me do makeup that is honestly so far out of my comfort zone, <laughs> then let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna start off with my face, which is a little bit different for me. I usually do my eyes first, but I'm just gonna start off with my Tatcha the Liquid Silk Canvas Primer, just to get a good little base down on my face for the rest of my very minimal makeup. <laughs> then for my foundation, I'm gonna go ahead and use the new-ish Tarte C Hydro Flex Serum Foundation. I just have this little baby size that I got with Sephora Code. I almost said points, but I think it was a code a while back. And I asked in one of my videos, I think, if you guys wanted to see me test this out. And a couple of you guys said yes, so I am doing that for you today. I got the shade 14N Fairlight Neutral. This is a serum foundation. I, I don't like serum foundations. If you're not new to my channel, you know that I like full coverage. I wanna just cover up everything. That's what I wanna do. And that's not what we're doing today. And I've got things to cover up in my opinion. I have redness, I have acne scars, I have active acne, I've got like dark circles under my eyes. And I personally just tend to really like to just blank all that out and have a complete fresh canvas for the rest of my makeup, um, cat hair. <laughs> and we're not doing that today. We're not doing that today. So I'm gonna give this a go. I'm also not going to apply this with a sponge. I normally tend to put any sort of foundation-y products on with a sponge, but we're using my fingers today, which I don't like doing, but that is what this video is about, Emily, getting out of your comfort zone. So I'm just going to put a little bit on my fingers. Oh, it is very liquidy. I mean, it's a serum foundation, so that makes sense. And we're just gonna kind of rub this on and see what happens. Okay, so it actually has a little bit more coverage than I was anticipating. Not gonna lie, I thought it was gonna have way less than that. Seems to be rubbing in pretty nicely with my fingers. Okay, so it's definitely drying down. Um, so I have to like kind of rush to blend it in. It is looking a little bit streaky, but again, I'm using my fingers. Okay, so not terrible, not terrible. Not my favorite, <laughs> but not terrible. Uh, I think I am going to add a little bit more just because the coverage is a little bit streaky because I don't think I put enough. It is looking a little bit dry on my chin, which I don't love that and like up here. I mean, this isn't a super like review on this. I am just kind of testing out for the first time, but in case you wanted to know my thoughts, I'm gonna add just a little bit more and I'm gonna go ahead and just like blend it out a little bit at a time because it was drying pretty quickly. This is a pretty good shade match for me. I thought it might be a little light because I have a little bit of a tan going on from my vacation, but um, no, it actually matches me pretty well. Okay, so I got this as blended out as I think I'm going to be able to get it with my hands. It definitely has more light coverage for sure, which makes sense, it's a serum foundation. I'm pretty sure it claims to have like a lightweight coverage. Um, it's, it's actually has more coverage than I was expecting. I actually like it more than I thought I was going to. This definitely wouldn't be like my go-to every day because it's not covering up everything I needed to. But again, for the sake of this video, that's kind of like what I wanted. I definitely think it helped cover up my redness, but all of my acne scars and all that are still sort of peeking through. It is also looking pretty dry on my face, which I wasn't expecting that because it's a serum foundation and it is so liquidy. I was expecting it to really just be super hydrating and it doesn't seem to be. It looks pretty dry like on my forehead and my nose and my chin, which are the areas that look dry on me when a foundation is gonna look dry on me, if that makes sense. But it doesn't look bad. I don't hate it. I don't hate it. I don't love it. 
but I don't hate it. For concealer, I'm just gonna spot conceal and I'm gonna try to not go crazy and over spot conceal and just cover up everything that this foundation is not covering up right now. So for under my eyes, I'm gonna take my Kosas Revealer Concealer. I have this shade 1.5C and I'm just gonna put a little tiny bit and we're going to blend that out with our fingers. I'm gonna end up taking it up on my lid as well for like a concealer moment slash uh, eye primer. This concealer definitely doesn't have like insanely full coverage, which isn't that bad. Um, and also again for this video, that's kind of the point. When I use this other times, I do tend to let it sit for a second before I blend it out. And that helps add a little bit of the coverage, but it typically has enough for what I need. It feels so awkward like blending this out with my fingers because I just like never do that. <laughs> and then I'm not gonna spot conceal. I thought I was going to, but I'm just gonna leave it. I'm just gonna leave it. We're not gonna spot conceal. That's the point of this video is to have all your imperfections shine through because that's what I don't like to do. So we're gonna move on. <laughs> so for bronzer, blush, and highlight for this out of my comfort zone sort of makeup look, I ended up picking all creams. I actually really do genuinely love cream products. However, for the most part, I tend to go for more powders. And if I'm just doing like all my favorite products or I'm just really needing a look that just is locked in and I know it's not gonna go anywhere or anything like that, I tend to go for powders. I feel more comfortable wearing all powders versus all creams. So for today, we're gonna use all creams. For bronzer, I'm gonna use my e.l.f. Putty Bronzer in the shade Tan Lines because this one is probably the most like sheer cream bronzer that I own and with this whole like natural, not covered up sort of look. I don't want anything too intense. So we're just going to do a pretty light bronze with this just to give my skin a little bit of color, make it look a little less like one dimensional. I'm still really, really loving these by the way. I know I haven't really used them too, too many times on camera, but I've used them off camera quite a few times and they're just so easy to blend and just Oh, I love it. I had gone ahead and did a first impressions on these a while back when they first launched. And that video is like one of my most viewed videos on my channel, which I think is so exciting. Um, so if you haven't seen it or checked it out, I will have it linked below for you. But in that video, I talk about how much I love them and how easy it was to apply and all of that. And I just kind of wanted to give you an update that I still think that and I still really really like them a lot. I really mainly only use tan lines though. I don't use the other one very often. The other one's like super cool toned. I really only use this like bronzier one. Then for cream blush, I picked my Natasha Denona Puff Paint. This is in the shade Tan. I've only tried this once and I really just was a little on the fence about it. So I wanna give it a go again. And the first time I tried it, it was pretty sheer and didn't have a ton of pigmentation. So it kind of goes with the theme of this video as well. And I just kind of wanted to give it another go. So we're just gonna stripe it right on. I'm just gonna stipple it out. Okay, so it definitely had more pigmentation than I remember. But I just feel like this shade ends up looking way more like peachy on my cheeks than it does here. Like I feel like in the tube and on the doe foot, it looks kind of like more tan and it's called tan. But then when I blend it out, I don't know, it just looks like pretty peachy, but I mean, it's not the end of the world. I'm also gonna take my blush up on the bridge of my nose and stuff. I don't ever really do that. Again, we're trying new techniques today. We're trying new makeup looks. This is fun. This is exciting, Emily. Not nerve wracking at all. <laughs> do I like this? I don't know. I don't know if I like this. Also, like this, th this redness right here. That's driving me nuts. That's driving me nuts. I'm gonna put a tiny bit of concealer. Just a tiny bit, not a lot. And we're gonna blend this out. Try to cover up a little bit of that redness. I'm gonna put a tiny bit on this side as well. I was also planning on not setting my face anywhere at all, even under my eyes, which I'm kind of regretting now because these are creasing pretty badly, but I'm just gonna keep tapping them out. <laughs> Next for cream highlight, I went ahead and chose my Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Light One in the shade Spotlight. I'm just going to dab a little bit up here, blend that out with my finger. I love this highlight so much. Put a little bit up here as well. Then for 
my brows, I'm not going to fill them in at all. I'm just going to run some clear brow gel through it. I honestly don't really mind this part too much. I feel like I have pretty good brows to begin with. They are pretty thick, pretty dark. I really tend to not need to fill them in a ton anyway. So I'm okay with this step. I'm just gonna take the Kosas um, Clear. I don't remember. I don't know, they're clear brow gel. <laughs> and we're just gonna run this through my brows, just kind of put them into place. I need to pluck them, they're a little crazy. Maybe we'll do that tonight. I don't know. I don't think I fully love this brow gel. I'm not going to lie. I feel like it doesn't do much. Like I'm putting it on right now and I just, I cannot feel it. <laughs> I feel like I'm putting nothing in my brows. So for eyes, I kind of struggled thinking about what I was going to do with my eye look. Because honestly, I'm really not scared of a lot of different eye looks and techniques. I mean, maybe cut creases. I really don't do cut creases very often, but... I'm not really like scared of them or it's not really like out of my comfort zone. I just don't really do them. And really the only eyeshadow color that is out of my comfort zone that does make me feel a little iffy is blue. And I was not about to do like bright blue eyeshadow with this very minimal, simple, natural look. But then I thought a one and done eyeshadow look. I never do one and done eyeshadow looks. I'm always putting at least like two, three, four types of eyeshadows into my creases, a shimmer on my lid, all of the above. I just never slap on one color and call it a day. And that's what we're gonna do today. I chose the Kosas, I'm using a lot of Kosas. That was unintentional, sorry about that. But I chose the Kosas 10 second eyeshadow and I chose the shade Globe because I have seen these kind of been blowing up a lot recently. A lot of people are starting to talk about it. I think Jamie Page talks about this a lot on her channel. And because of that, I've seen Jessica Braun try this out and a couple other people. I don't know, I've seen a couple people talk about this. I've actually had this in my collection for a while. Costa sent these to me in PR, like honestly, over a year ago. I've had this for a long time. I don't use this because it burns my eyes. And I'm kind of scared to put it on there today because the last time I used it, it literally just burns my eyelids. So we'll see if that happens today. Hopefully not. Um, I am going to really shake it up very well though because this is the type of eyeshadow formula that you really do need to shake up. And I'm just gonna apply it with my fingers and blend it out with my fingers. That kind of makes me nervous. But this globe shape is pretty. I like it. And I've used it in the past, but like I said, I just it burnt my eyelids. So let's see. I'm just going to apply this all over my lid. I'm going to blend it out with my finger. It's a very sheer wash of color. Like you can barely see anything. I might have to build that up and put a second layer on once this one is dry. So can you see how like patchy it already is? And I feel like it's already creasing. Ugh, I don't know. Let me try this. Let me try this side. The whole point is it's supposed to be like a 10 second eyeshadow formula. So it's supposed to be like super easy. You're supposed to just like put it on, tap it out, kind of like I'm doing. But I don't know how I feel about this. Yeah, I feel like it's really patchy on both sides. I'm gonna maybe try to build it up. I don't know if this is a good idea or not, but we're going for it. Plus it's very sheer, like I can barely see the shade at all. The good news is I don't feel it burning my eyelid though, like it has in the past, so that's a plus. Okay, so dry down with the two layers. I don't love this, I don't. I don't know if I'm just not applying it correctly or like rubbing it out, blending it out correctly with my fingers, but I just feel like it's really, really patchy and it's already creasing. The second layer could have been what is making it crease already. Uh, maybe you're only supposed to do one, I don't know. I don't wear these very often, but yeah, I just feel like it's already creasing and looking really patchy. I don't love that, but here we are. <laughs> For mascara, I'm gonna go ahead and use the Clover by Cloven Hollow Maxed Out Mascara. This is in their black shade. This is like just way more of a natural mascara from what I remember. I don't tend to love natural mascaras. I like ones that are super like voluminizing and make my lashes look long and thick and curled and I don't think this does that. So let's give this a go. I do remember it being a very wet formula and getting everywhere. Oh like right there. So I'm gonna have to be really careful with this. This is such a thick, chunky formula. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I don't think I like this formula at all. Take my lash comb. Oh my gosh, this mascara is just getting everywhere. What is happening? 
I just broke my lash comb. That stinks. <laughs> okay, this mascara is getting everywhere, but the good news about using all creams and not setting your face with any powder is you can just use a little bit more to cover up your mistakes. So that's what we're gonna do right now. There you go, good as new. It's like I didn't get mascara everywhere, even though I did. <laughs> okay, next up for lips, I'm just putting on a clear lip gloss. I never wear just a clear lip gloss, hardly ever. I probably don't even wear clear lip glosses over like lipsticks or lip liners very often. Um, I just, I don't know, I feel like when I have a nice full coverage foundation on, you can really see the line of demarcation between my lips and the foundation on like the side of my lips. And when I use just clear lip gloss, you can really see that. So that's why I tend to use more like colorful lips products, if that makes sense. I'm just gonna use the M Cosmetics Morning Dew Lip Gloss. And we're just going to apply this. Ooh, this smells yummy. I never noticed that smell before. Oh my gosh, that is yummy. Last up for setting spray, I'm gonna go in with a nice and dewy setting spray, even though my face is kind of already looking kind of dewy, especially since I didn't set it down with powder anywhere. But again, the point of this video is to get out of my comfort zone. And I like a dewy setting spray, don't get me wrong, but I tend to pair it with a more mattifying foundation and I set my face and all of that. So we're just gonna pile on all the things that make me feel uncomfortable. And we're gonna use the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist to do so. And that was it, you guys. That was me getting ready with makeup that's completely out of my comfort zone. Essentially the exact opposite of my makeup preferences for everyday wear. I'm not gonna lie, I don't hate it. I really don't. There are aspects about this look that I really do enjoy. I think I look like fresh and young and healthy and dewy and my skin, although the imperfections are peeking through, like my redness, my acne scars and all of that, I feel like I look like young and healthy, if that makes sense. I mean, I am young and healthy, I'm only 28, but do you know what I mean? I feel like my skin just looks healthy and glowy and pretty. There are some things I don't like about it, like I do not like this eyeshadow at all and this mascara, but I think that was more the products I chose to use versus the technique of using like a one and done eyeshadow and a more natural looking mascara. But I actually, I really like it. I like how the like cream, bronzer, blush, and highlight all kind of melded together. I like the blush up over the bridge of my nose. I feel like it, again, makes me look like young and fresh and sun-kissed and healthy. Um, yeah, so I don't hate it. Will this be my go-to? Definitely not, definitely not. And I think it looks pretty for the right mood, the right place, the right outfit, the right everything. You know what I mean? Also, I kind of like that my little tiny bit of freckles are peeping through. I think that that is cute. Freckles are very in right now and I have a tiny bit, not a ton. Um, but yeah, this, but also this is creasing and it's driving me crazy. So I probably should have sat under my eyes, but again, I just wanted to completely do the exact opposite of what I do all the time. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope the couple people who requested this video from me liked seeing this, like seeing me apply different makeup techniques, different makeup looks, all of the above. If you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much. You're awesome. I love you. Please subscribe if you have not yet and hope to see you in my next video. Bye guys.